The date, 1415. The place, her floor, in northern France. As the battle rages between the English and the French, King Henry V addresses his troops. Once more, unto the breach, dear friends. Once more. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, if we could just stop that for a second. Uh, could I have a word, sire? A word? But we are in the very heat of battle, Master... Um... Uh, perks, sire. Reginald Perks. Yes, Health and Safety, French Battlefield Division. Health and Safety? I haven't got time for all of that. I've got to rally my troops. <clears throat> Once more, unto the breach, dear friends. Once more. Yes, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, my lord, but re this rallying speech. I don't think that's the precise word form which has been approved by the minister, if you would uh, care to uh, take a look. Oh, yeah, um, uh, once more, unto the breach, dear friends, regardless of race, creed, colour, gender, religious persuasion or country of origin. What gobbledygook is this? What Ministry of Defence policy, I'm afraid, sire. We are an equal opportunity employers now. Good heavens! Calm down, sir. Honestly. Why don't you have a drink? Oh, uh, well indeed, good Master Perks. At this testing moment I would give my fame for a pot of ale. Ah, yes, ale, my lord. <laughs> that won't be possible, I'm afraid. Half Law Town Centre has been designated an alcohol-free zone. Gee, gods! Then, Perks, I must slake my thirst with a draught of Adam's ale. Fetch me a flagon of water. Certainly. Still sparkling. What? Malvern or Perrier? Ah, French water! Ah, let's get on with the rallying. Once more, unto the breach, dear friend. No, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Forgive me again, uh, sire. No, no, no. I'm afraid that health and safety have cordoned off the breach. What? <laughs> it doesn't meet EU specifications. Yes, they won't let anyone through until a proper scaffolding tower has been erected. <laughs> Then send for my trusty yeoman carpenters without delay. I'm afraid, sire, they're busy knocking up a ramp for the child-friendly access to the moat. But ch child-friendly access? Health and safety again, sire. We are under a legal obligation to <clears throat> provide a safe environment for mothers and toddlers. Oh, enough, Perks. I must continue with my speech. But when the blast of war blows in our ears... I will be insisting that your ear protectors are worn at all times. Then imitate the action of the tiger. Oh, thanks, I, a tiger, an endangered species. Don't oh, stiffen the sinews, summon the blood. Blood? I'm afraid not. We've got an issue with the transfusion service at the moment. Something about dirty arrowheads. What? Now, if you will just put on this standard issue health and safety protection kit, sire, to keep you safe. Oh, I must say, it suits you, sire. The game's afoot. Fluorescent yellow. It's so you, my lord. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry God, Harry, England, and St. George. Oh, sire, it's all sounding a little bit you keep in here, isn't it? He hath no stomach in this fight. Let him depart. His passport shall be made. Oh, I'm glad you said that, sir. Your carriage awaits. I cannot flee the field, Perks. Why not, sir? If we leave now, we can get the final Eurostar from Gardenord. From this day to the ending of the world. We'll be back in London in just a jiffy. We in it shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. Oh, and... Sisters, I really think you should give up on this war malarkey, sir. Boom. Boom. And try something with a lower risk coefficient. Maybe architecture or ooh, watercolour, sir. Now that's something that's a lovely pastime. Or maybe use your royal status to illuminate the plight of the great crested newt. Lovely little chaps when you get to know them. You've just got to see their crest.